imagine plants or flowers in a folded shape and they blossom. For example, leaves with, the, let's say, a fourfold or fivefold or sixfold uh, patterns with minimal, let's say, biological force, they can unfold their leaves or unfold their uh, flower petals. The way that they do that is sometimes in a very optimized way. If I see insects with wings folded under their skeleton, this is basically origami. <laughs> origami is the ancient art of paper folding, but this art form appears in nature too, and aerospace engineering professor J.K. Yang wants to know what we can learn from it. So origami is basically art of paper folding. When I first thought about uh, using origami for research, honestly, I was not super serious because it's uh, just the art of paper folding that little kids enjoy. But origami is basically more than that and it contains design principle. My five-year-old daughter, she loves folding paper. So I basically work with her and we basically do origami together. So this is something you know, that I uh, really uh, like about origami. I mean, it enables me to connect with people around me. Recent decades, scientists started to look at origami. Mathematicians started to look at origami. Computer scientists started to look at origami. And they find that, wow, this is very profound. So that's, that made me think, why don't we, instead of I mean, choosing material from the library, why don't we design material on our own as, as we wish? JK's work focuses on design, how a space shuttle might land to better absorb impact, or how a solar panel might fold into a more compact shape. So aerospace engineering, for the missions to be successful, you have to do the mission with light materials, very durable materials. You cannot go to space with uh, structures made of concrete. that I design will be uh, shielding unwanted noises or uh, protecting uh, uh, our personnel or equipment from the impact. And after landing of, for example, rocket, the landing legs sometimes need to be replaced because the way that it observes impact, it basically undergoes permanent deformation. So I would like to design materials which will be absorbing impact but we can make it uh, reusable. But to JK, origami is more complex than just scientific research. It's the place where science and art meet through design. Folding a single square of paper can create endless possibilities for JK to rethink problems in engineering. There are so many origami art pieces out there, and uh, that can all inspire us to design new materials and new structures. When I see this paper, I imagine foldable space structures and foldable medical devices, and this is much more beyond. Origami can be both art and science, or it can be neither art or science. So that is the beauty of origami.